Hey everybody, I am in moving mode, so my hair looks like craziness. And um, it is, what is today? Today's the 18th, which I think is going to be Wednesday hump day. Wednesday hump day. And I'm doing a, I'm doing a, I've been trying to upload my video since yesterday. Um, because I did not hook up my booster. I figured I'm only going to be here two days. Why hook up the booster? Well, now I know why I should have. If you have a booster and you're coming to the WWR, it might be a good idea to, to make sure you hook it up. Otherwise, park near somebody else who has one. <laughs> the Verizon signal um, is like one or two bars. Um but it's still slow it's like it's like an airplane in this car in this van rather because um i need to put the tow haul on and then i need to turn my brakes on because i have a curt brake controller that i hook into my seven-way plug this way you can move it to any vehicle you like and program it to five vehicles and you don't have to worry about um installing and uninstalling and hardwire and all that other crap and they want like so much money an hour to do that for you if you don't have a built-in brake controller in your truck which this truck did not have even though it has a heavy duty um tow package it did not have the brake controller in there that's so they can make more money off of you yeah so i'm driving out now and i'm going through the wooded area of the loop uh, which we are not in but there are still when I checked last night I haven't checked this morning I will check this morning I will check it before I put this out but when I checked last night there were three spots still available in the um, the other loop there's an example it's wooded and has secluded I prefer not to have so much grass because grass is bugs to me and even though I have my thermocell which I love um, it is I this I forgot how bumpy this road was I think two of the spots that are open are like this these ones right over here on my right 129 right here okay and there's the bathhouse and there's the walkway next to the bathhouse that goes to the little park and I'll show I took a walk to that little park the other day and there's a pavilion in there oh I forgot to dump my garbage it's on my hood there it is I got one bag okay let's go head out and I will show you more as we're leaving the park it rained today Okay, there's a garbage. I didn't pass it. Yay. I gotta go stop and throw my garbage out. I'll be back. Let's take a look at that pavilion and the And it's got a walking park. sidewalk and it's got a pavilion. It's not in the same loop we're on for our meetup. But um, I suppose you'd have to rent the pavilion, but if it's not being used, you could. And where does it come out at? It comes out. Maybe it comes out on our side. It might. We'll see where it comes out at. Here we go. Nice swing set on that rubbery stuff with no grass. Oh, this looks like, this is nice. It's another little, just a day area, I guess. Just a field, no campsites. Uh, I don't, uh, yeah, but there's, you know, a couple of watering. There's a water spigot right over there to get water. And it's got, looks like it has an outhouse over, or bathrooms over here, but they got locks on them. So it's probably not open. It's probably a day use area. Let's see what it says. There's a sign over here. Do not something. It's got a, it's got a circle driveway here. Circle road. This must be a day picnic area. 
daytime picnicking area. Danny's going to be pooped. But this say park is ginormous. Let's go check out the bathroom. Come on, Danny. Oh, he said they're nice and clean. Except, oh. gotta keep pressing that button. Toilets. Big shower, because it's a handicap shower. You know, but it's got two things to hang your clothes on. It's okay. The hand dryer works, and it's got plugs. As nomads, you know, we've we've been out in the desert and had nothing like that, and just had a, a shower tent. So I think, or our campers. So I think most of us would agree that if you're in a van and you don't have a bathroom or shower in your van, you'd be just as happy with that bathroom. Okay, so I'm pulling out of the actual campground area, which is separate from most of the other state park areas. So if you want to go to the hikes or go kayaking, you do have to drive so even though the store is not open only but one day a week right now, maybe they'll find somebody to work it, but nobody really wants to work or volunteer. They're even given a $500 sign-on bonus if you want to work here at this state park. But Jack's to the left as you're pulling out of the campground is a house, a farmhouse, and he has fire, uh, firewood, ice, a little store, hot coffee. So if anybody wanted to venture to check out Jack's, my grandkids and I went there and did check out his little store when we were here two years ago. At the next stop sign, turn left. And um, thanks, Abby. And when we did that, when we checked that out, um, I think we bought firewood that. We did buy firewood that day because there was no firewood here. They do not want you to bring out-of-state firework into the campground. So, and that's pretty much the same in every state. They say it's because of the bugs in the wood, but I'm beginning to wonder if it's just about revenue, you know. But anyway, there is a machine that is a vending machine at that little store. It's like in a, a container there. I think I might have showed it to you previously that the store was there. But um, it's like a, you can put money in there and it'll, it'll send the wood out to you in a packet, I guess. I didn't try it. As I said before, there's no entry fee to get into the Illinois State Parks. So they don't charge you an entry fee. Like um, some of the parks charge you five bucks a day to get in or whatever. They don't charge you that here at the Illinois State Park. So if you want to come and visit somebody for the day, or if you were, say, to have a good boondocking spot that you didn't have to pay for, but you just wanted to come and visit us over at the event for the day, you can do that, and it doesn't cost you. The big parking lot off to my left, extra parking. Like right over here. I don't know what that's for. I'll look on the, they did say there was extra parking for extra vehicles at the one of the parks, but we'll see. Oh, overflow parking. Here's overflow parking to the left and it says that it's open, overflow parking. And there's a lot of picnic tables over there. So this is not the campground park, but they have an arrow showing to get to that overflow parking. But then somebody would have to pick you up, bring you over to the campground. This is Lodge Lane.
and I'm gonna go ahead and ride through the lodge. Oh, it's called coming back to me. We parked over here, the kids and I, and then we walked on the trails. <laughs> Overnight parking for lodge guests only. And then we entered into the trails over here. Which it tells you where to enter to go to whatever trail or area you're looking to see. A lot of porta potties. Fox Canyon is over here to the right. You can see it from this bridge. We're just going to take a ride through. And this is pretty cool. We saw some pretty cool birds, if I recall, when we came up here. The restaurant, the gift shop. If we would like to, come up here one night for dinner that would be kind of cool they have a hotel so even if you don't have a camper and you'd like to attend you could do that if you wanted to stay at the hotel or in one of the cabins you could research that a little bit more online I don't know what the prices are or what the facilities look like. did come over here with the kids one day and um, we went and we're, we took a whole bunch of pictures down here on the water and they have a picnic area it was pretty cool and there's people fishing you could fish over here up I'm going the wrong way on a one way oh well I'm gonna park because I want to I was gonna run in and get some brochures but you know what I'll get them when I come back it's a huge parking lot for the visitor center people spend the day here and picnic So here is our loop, right here, where we're all going to, most of us are going to be camped in this area. And the state park goes all the way from this boat ramp on the, to the west. And here's the actual Starved Rock, which is one of the hikes that I would like to do. The Starved Rock hike, starting at the um, Visitor Center, if we park here and then start on the hike, and actually go to the Starved Rock, is, they have a chart with the length of the trails, is only 0.3 miles. The St. Louis Canyon is 1.5 miles and the French Canyon is 0.4 miles. To go kayaking, we would, if you started from the, you come out of here, 
put in for kayaking, I was told that the best place to put in is over here. Right over here. Because the water's calmer over there. And then head east. It's warmer. And I, that was verified by these people that were staying across from me. So there's a lot to do here. I mean, you could almost do a hike every day or they say have some kind of an activity every day if you wanted to. I definitely would like to put my kayak in over here and go kayak in. If you don't have a kayak, you can rent one. Mine's inflatable. Um, I would really like to try it out and I think that would be pretty cool. So if I anybody wants to go with me, it is a two-seater. I was going to take Danny, but my friend said if it gets windy, that it uh, you get some white camps and it can be a little, you know, bit rougher to have the dog. So the first time, I don't think I'll take the dog with me. So that's a little bit about that. You know, when you travel as much as we do as nomads or as wheeled wanderers, It's pretty, you know, sometimes you get the, your places confused and mixed up. So I got my, look at this, I got my computer in the car and I got 98, 99.9 .9 of it is uploaded. And I've got my jetpack here. And look at this is the signal. I got two bars in most places here at star rock on my um jetpack and about two bars on my phone well it's here i got my tank top t-shirt and it feels really nice it's a nice material i do have my bathing suit top underneath it so this is a large and um ladies just so you know this is the large of course i look i mean I got like a lot of clothes on here oh it's the xl and this is the um it's unisex so it's either men or women and this is the extra large and it comes down pretty far comes over my butt in the back and that's got big pockets, nice pockets, arm length, XL, arm length. I like it bigger because I figure it's going to shrink. It's going to shrink, but see how it comes pretty long. My skirt and it's got the emblem, but I like it from Teespring.